from Void. Yep. The Lucina is going to work uh, pretty nicely. Uh, a lot of the problems that a lot of characters have against Pichu is just that their hitboxes don't quite line up to the size that Pichu has. That's right. Pichu but, being like extremely small. Yeah. But Lucina does have very wide uh, hitboxes that cover up and down. So that should be able to catch Pichu relatively nicely. But the fact is, it's going to be if he can get to that Pichu because this mouse is really quick. That's right. Even being able to convert off Nair's into, wow, Nair into Miss Tech. Jab lock, F smash. Yep. He nared him from center stage and was still able to convert into jab lock. Yeah. That's just uh, a testament of how fast that character is. Yep. Of course, the uh, jab lock doesn't quite uh, do force the neutral get up anymore. It forces you on the ground for 38 more frames. That allows enough characters where their F smashes are fewer than 38 frames to be able to get a punish like that. And Pichu has a relatively strong one oh, compared yeah, to a lot of other so characters. So far, mm -hmm. so far uh, with his little <laughs> little spark ball that he sends out. Yep. And of course, a big <laughs> combo starter for Pichu is going to be that up tilt. This catches them in the air. You can get some resets with Dare and then continue on your pressure. And I like the way uh, Boyd was able to get the down tilt. And then he knew that he was not going to be able to follow up. He was trying to get a bigger conversion, so he waited to see if K9 was going to air dodge. Getting the neutral air into the thunder. Into the forward tilt. Of course, that's such a great move to be able to get the kill and just gets another forward tilt right at the edge. It's able to two frame, it's frame five, and it kills. That's right. And of course, don't forget that when you do a directional air dodge, you are in fact have a certain amount of frames that you are still vulnerable before you actually grab the ledge. Oof. He's barely avoiding that S smash, and that's going to allow Void to get a drag down combo right there. Amazing Smart stuff. stuff coming out from Void. The combos continue, but K9 able to interrupt with the Nair and a miss input from Void going to make him SD. Yeah. But he still got two more stocks to go. Mm -hmm. I think he was. I think he had the right idea, of like what angle to go to. But I think he just got caught underneath that little lip that Pokemon Stadium has. Oh, oh okay. but another four tilt. Why he is that move so strong? He literally sticks out his leg, his tiny leg. It doesn't even do like that much damage to himself. It, it's just like it's like this like point something or something. It comes like out that. fast. Doesn't yeah. have that much, and like the risk reward on that move is insane. Yeah, I think it's pretty crazy overall. Like at the the, the most damage he can put onto himself is thunder, which is a three percent. But everything other than that is really insignificant. It's like one point, like one or point eight or very very small values. But we're gonna have to see. Oh yeah, okay. The last character that K9 has is Wolf. Now I remember. But we're gonna have to see what he's gonna go for. Okay, going for Lynx. I mean Bowser. Bowser does have um, some damage-based armor that he has on himself. Base damage, 4%. Uh, in 1v1, that translates to about 4.8%. Uh, so that might be able to work out. It's on his arms uh, and, like, oh, it's on moves that, like, he throws out his arms, like, uh, forward tilt, like, uh, jab and stuff like that. We'll yeah. have to see. And, of course, he has those amazing aerials that come out super fast because he, everybody has that frame 3 squad jump now. Mm -hmm. But you just have to be careful with that. Void, uh, playing such a light character, lose his stock super easily, but talking about losing his stock super easily, talk about combo into down air. Yep, that's not too great right now, and yeah, I don't think Bowser really has that Koopa anymore. I, I feel like there's just a play style that Bowser's employ is just kind of, just power through, do your best, <laughs> and and things will come to you, just I because mean, of your um, your size, your armor, and, and the size of your hitboxes. Well, but, you're definitely right. Pichu is going to Bowser. <laughs> uh, it's just also bringing a lot of damage with him. Pichu's uh, up B agility does not actually uh, do impl employ any damage onto his opponents, but okay, can we get the up tilt and be able to take out that stock? Mm -hmm. So Void uh, lands a hit, could be lead to large damage, possibly even another dare conversion. Okay, like the thunder mix up. Yep. All right, gets that fair in, putting it into another off stage situation. Try to read a high recovery into a spike. They're gonna get another grab, down throw into the neutral air. Right, basic bread and butter stuff, get that damage going. K9 having such difficulty just staying grounded, being able to combat this little rat. Or mouse? Little mouse. Mouse. Yes. <laughs> Rattata is a mouse. Uh, Rattata is a rat. Is a rat. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay, good recovery. Ooh, directional air dodge. I think in that situation, Void thought he was going to be forced into a tech situation mm -hmm. because he's getting carried over to the, it definitely looked to the side like of it. the stage. Yeah. But he just kind of fell out as any directional air dodge. But a four tilt will be able to <laughs> close out the stock again. Okay, so remember, Pichu is one uh, is the lightest character in the game. Yeah, uh, yes. With the addition of Pichu, Jigglypuff has finally been uh, taken off. Oh, the, relieved the, of that crown. Yes, good, exactly. Good stuff, Jigs. But ooh, almost getting the double dare. That would have been lights out for K9. 
yeah. If he didn't wait for that jump and then went for the immediate one, he definitely would have probably landed it. But I don't think, and this is one of those situations where you, you can't really know when your opponent still has their jump. Still taking them to the off stage wow. and just did not clip the stage correctly. And is going to get caught by that forward smash once more. Very unfortunate for K9, but Void going up 2 0 with Pichu looking so dominant in these two games. We're going like, to see if uh, K9 is going to try and get uh, another character in. I mean, at this point, Bowser wasn't looking like it was working. Does he have an inkling? Maybe inkling's the answer. Uh, okay. Okay, kind of taking shades from his brother in Smash 4. Of course, uh, his brother SS did play Ness uh, for a significant amount of time. That's right. Yes, he did. And uh, have you ever actually uh, messed around with this character Ness? Oh, yeah. I this think character has insane movement now, especially with uh, the side magnet being able, having like a, a shine property now. Yeah. Uh, he can actually mix up, and then all these electric attacks can be absorbed and uh, turned back into HP. Yeah, that's... Uh <laughs> Gonna be interesting to see. I I, I wasn't the big fan, biggest fan of fighting Ness in Smash 4. I still don't really like fighting him, to be honest, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. I think but he's now, a very strong character. Now K9 is going to have a few more tools at his disposal, just in case he needs to have a move that says, Get off me. Oh! If that was intentional, that was a big brain play. Yep. Let yourself get hit by the PK Thunder. Uh, you can get hit by the PK Rocket to shorten the distance as well. There's a couple of options you have to be able to try and take out that uh, option. Okay. Of course, because uh, Air Dodge has been nerfed also, his recovery has also been nerfed significantly. I mean, yeah, it, it has a little bit, but at the same time, his directional Air Dodge sent him really far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see what K9 tries to look for right now. Tries to get a grab, but just gets spot dodged there. And, and after Void was pushing all the buttons too. Yeah. Okay, shield poking with the, the down smash. Definitely going to work out right there. Still about 100% behind right now, but going to get those spare strings. Good dash dancing, but only to get connected with the dash attack. You can see another up throw, forward yeah. throw. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Yeah. Forward tilt going to be able to take out another stock at the ledge. Okay, now we're looking one. for the mix-up. PK fire, but F-Smash not going to connect. PK Fire not quite coming out. I like the dash dancing coming out from Void. Definitely taking advantage of that quick movement coming from Pichu. Mm -hmm. Both these players trying to find their one conversion. I like the small, the slow approach coming out from Void. But at the same time, uh, K9 throwing out those PK Fires, making it very difficult to just have a horizontal approach. Oh, uh, that is potentially it. Yep. yep. 3 0. -oh. Going to CLG Void. K9 yep. not literally looking like he had an answer to CLG Void's Pichu. I'm telling you, man. What a what a world we live in where Pichu is top tier. I mean, started literally <laughs> starting from the bottom, <laughs> uh, and now and now he's now he's here. Real, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. But. No, no, you weren't. Yeah. I was, you, you started uh, it. You, got, you finished where you start. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I mean, like even now, they're just like discussing what possible options like K9 had, uh, because even from where we were sitting, it was not looking good for K9. Yeah. I mean, we, he went for a heavy pick with Bowser, uh, thinking maybe with that additional power could seal out a stock just a little bit earlier. But then Boy just stayed in his face, mm -hmm. and then with the choice of of uh, Ness have options such as side magnet, nair, just these quick moves that can come out to combat Pichu's quick moves, still not the correct answer. Yeah. So what do you do at that point? I don't know, man. You go back to the drawing board and you figure it out. That's yeah. what you do. Void uh, just giving uh, K9 a little talk about like how to maybe deal with some of Pichu's stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the biggest weakness I can see from Pichu is the uh, just, the si just the weight. Like, yeah. If you get a good hit on Pichu. I mean, Void, Void actually put a pretty good video on his YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, really showing the weaknesses of Pichu and like and the strengths as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you are at home a viewer and you have uh, problems with this mouse, check out that check out that video, you know. It yeah. has some great information. A lot of the character mains uh, in Ultimate are pumping out some content to mm -hmm. try and get some guides out there about like how a character can be played, how really advance the meta well as fast as we can. Yeah, exactly. Which is really nice to see as well.
That's We're going right. to have to see uh, who our next match is uh, underway very soon. But in the meantime, we are here at SoCal Count Chronicles, if you're just tuning in. Uh, our first regional. That's uh, right. The SoCal. first yeah. of many regionals yeah. that we have. Uh, this one is, of course, in beautiful La Mirada, California. Uh, along with the uh, singles bracket that's happening right now, we also have the regional crew battles that are happening. Uh, so for those who don't know, we have a regional crew battle because it's time to find out who is, in fact, the best region. Uh, there's a lot of talk with on Twitter and the Facebook group um, about, like, which region is the best? People say it's San Diego. Some people say it's A18. OC can throw its name out there because we do have Boyd. So, <laughs> I, I take it you're OC. I am, in fact, OC. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll be rooting for my boys in 1818. Uh, 818, yeah, I they have a pretty like, good I feel like 818 is. Pro uh, this is just my. Mm. Yeah, you're biased. Opinion. Yes, yes, uh, yes. <laughs> my opinion is that I think 818 is Wait, aren't generally. You, aren't you LA? You're not 818. I am 818. You are 818. I live in Granada Hills. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's eight one eight. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, well, I think the uh, I think the favorite to win is probably eight one eight. But there are definitely some dark horses in there that could I definitely step it up. It's a crew battle. It's not single, so that's, that's the true. main thing that you're it gonna have to consider as well. Back to crew battle. Every single region, uh, and there's eight total. Uh, all have a five man team going into these crew battles to yeah. find out which is going to be the best crew to represent California once and for all. Uh, yeah. Eight one eight does look pretty stacked. They have Larry, Nico, uh, Zen Yu. The Cookie Slayer, a.k.a. Zan, and S2H. But, I mean, you can't really sleep on the other regions. Yeah, I think Especially with Orange County having two Luigis. Two Luigis and Void. I mean, Void. that's... <laughs> and Void. Two yeah. Luigis, Void. Uh, San Diego, uh, especially in regional crew battles, used to be the Dark Horse as well. Yes. But now they have two players that have been on the PGR. So I, I still it, remember it's definitely not as um, scary as it used to be. I still remember the t uh, what is it? I think it's Genesis three during SoCal versus Japan or SoCal versus uh, I don't remember what crew they were playing yet, but Fallen like came out clutch and took like six stocks or something. It was crazy. All of SoCal was just losing their minds. But enough about the crew battle. We'll get back to that later. I really want to see what the updates are for that. But for right now, we have Stroder from Arizona versus uh, IE's I'm Hip. I'm Hip has been getting some pretty crazy results lately. Uh, at Wednesday Night Fight, he's basically always top three or top four. Yeah, I mean, every event that I've seen him at, that I personally have seen him at, he's always been top three. Yeah. I think his most, the lowest, uh, lowest ranking I've seen him get was fourth place. Uh, and that was at the most recent Wednesday Night Fights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think overall, just the, this game favors like his play style as well. Uh, he played he played Olimar the, and Duck Hunt, and those are two very uh, good good characters in this game. If you've seen some of the stuff that Duck Hunt can do, he's he, he's he's kind of whack <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, I've seen some of those Twitter combos. Uh, I've only really seen it like ever happen in a tournament once, and it wasn't even like in SoCal. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we'll have to see. Uh, I think Stroder is maining um, Pichu, if I recall correctly. Well, we'll have to see. Um, and the Stroder as well um, used to be the Greninja um, from Arizona. That's right. Uh, number one ranked on the PR uh, many times. And uh, yeah, pretty much the favorite from Arizona. Arizona did come on a big, very long car, 15 people in one car. Wow. 15? Yeah. How do you fit 15 people it's in like one a, car? It was like a bus car van, oh, okay. van type of thing. All right. So it, it was definitely crazy to see. So the Arizona boys are definitely going to be rooting for him. And what the heck is he making? I don't know. What what type of symbols are we're gonna these have to even? censor uh, him? <laughs> censor him now! <laughs> Alrighty, and he's getting a Santa hat for some reason. Uh, the holidays are in fact over. Yeah, not it's January fifth right now. Well, we'll have.